I wake up in the morning, the first one up usually, and I, you know, I brew the first cup of coffee. Then I froth my milk. It's my morning time where I, I get to practice something I'm not very good at, but. <laughs> But it's been a fun learning process. I like to, you know, I like to geek out on things and learn. The idea that the the very first thing that you do in the morning is something that you, you've kind of been working on, you know, and trying to get better at it. And every single day you're trying to get better at it. I think it's like a, a great start to the day. When you're talking about building a dish and building a flavor profile, you know, a lot of those things kind of equate with that first cup of coffee for me because number one, the ingredients need to be correct. Number two, that cup of coffee needs to have the correct sort of balance that I'm looking for. Working with the La Cologne team, they did an amazing job being able to extract, you know, all of my, my feelings and my thoughts on coffee. I'm telling you what I like based off of flavor profiles. They can tell you based off of where the beans are coming from and if you mix these two beans, what flavor profile you're gonna get. So they have a much deeper understanding of coffee and it's really nice to work with people that, that understand that. I think we all need coffee, you know, we start the day with that, but also it's attached to very specific memories. Uh, it goes back to, for some people, to their childhood, the way it smelled in the house when the parents or the grandmother was making coffee. And it's also something that everyone customizes at some point. You're going to put sugar or cream or nothing at all, or you want it to be done in certain ways. Uh, a pour over, a V60, espresso, so there is a, a high level of customization that goes into coffee and I think this is uh, this that's what I really like about it I like a fuller body coffee that's not too bitter that has some sweetness to it you know maybe some dark fruit maybe a slight nutty aspect to it like really like rich and decadent those flavor profiles kind of round out coffee for me in a in a way that I want to drink that when I wake up I want to have that with my dessert and I want to have that in, in the middle of the day when I need that quick pick me up. I think coffee has developed in so many different ways over the years. And I think La Cologne has been there for so long that they understand like that, that development. And there's certain things that I like about sort of the newer style of coffee making. And then there's something I really enjoy about the old style of coffee. And I think La Cologne does a, like an amazing job blending the two. The process was really about the idea of creating a, a special blend of coffee that really resonates with me personally, as well as with the guests that I think we're gonna be coming into Odium. What we came up with, it was right on the nose for me. Well, this is gonna be interesting enough for the person that dives deep into single origin coffee sourced from all over the world, but also something that's gonna stand up and somebody that's like a traditionalist in coffee, kind of that old school mentality, like it's gonna, it's gonna translate to both of those people. I think it hits it, you know? When we opened, uh, it was a kind of like a celebration of the local aspect of what we do. And Otium Restaurant is one of the best restaurants, and uh, and we wanted to uh, honor that. And uh, and uh, we run the idea by him, and it was game, and it was really fun. It has a great palate. Spent hours like developing the blend here in this room for drinking coffee. That was the first tasting. I think it lasted about four hours. And then we got a good idea of what he wanted to do, and, and we developed a, a fantastic blend that was roasted downstairs. The green coffee gets loaded in the top. This is a big, big drum with paddles inside that rotate and keep the coffee mixing the whole time. You know, as you're going through the roasting process, it's reaching different phases. You go through a Maillard reaction. You want that chocolate component and nuttiness to it. But we do pre-blend roast. So I will weigh out all the coffee and mix the different origins together and then roast them together. That'll help create across the board uniform roast profile. I think what's so great about the Sonder blend is just balance. When I create a dish, I want that dish to be balanced. You know, I want there to be acidity in there. I want there to be textures in there. The overall experience is very, very thought out. And I think the flavor profile is the same way. 
It needs to have body and it needs to have flavor that's going to stand up to a decadent dessert.